Well, well, well. I'm watching another edition of Ghost Adventures, and of course, when I get their Native American dwellings going and where they are, I immediately have to look this up. Now, they at this episode is at Granite Mountain in this area. There's a um, house they're at that was basically on Native American reservation land, obviously. And you know damn well, and if anybody knows that what I look up on, um, especially out west, uh, there are a lot of Native American dwellings out here. And not only that, now that I'm looking very closely at this map, that this uh, paranormal activity is a lot near a lot of places that I have looked in this area. And I could tell you, Jerome also being out in this area, but I cannot find it on a map like this. And when I did look it up, I believe, I want to say Jerome, it went coming up. It's probably in like a big popular city or friggin' area like these are. But I did actually locate where it is by looking at, um, when I looked at Jerome, I zoomed him on the map to see if this granite mountain would come up, but it didn't. But what did came up, and what is close to this, is the Prescott National Forest. As you can see right there, which is obviously in that area. Now, if anybody knows anything, reservations. Um, you see any type of conservation land. Literally, I swear to God, you know what? In my findings, in my, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's in the book. I believe these all were sacred Native American lands that the white man did give um, respect to. But other than that, a lot of times it would get torn up, moved, or built over. But in this case, in this area, vicinity, wherever this house is, of course they don't tell the exact place, but they do mention these mountains, Granite Mountain, Arizona. So that's why I go on, but you know what I go on from, if I hear something particular like that in an episode, I immediately look it up. And my findings now, of course, all come together. And I want to say Jerome is going to be somewhere in this area. It's somewhere along the lines and in between this area, I believe. Because when the map went on and I pressed in Jerome and I looked up the, um, you know, the uh, state forest thing, because I seen it, Prescott Natural Forest. Um, yeah, it was, it seemed to be like around in this area or somewhere down in here. But not only that, what else is close nearby? Kenny Veach and his disappearance. As you can see, Las Vegas, Nevada. He was up in this area, not too far from that. And down below here, what not, was the other guy that went missing or somewhere in here. Same thing, walker, you know, desert trailer, gonna walk it out. And then you have the Josh, Joshua Tree National Forest. That's a, another place I believe someone went missing. And... Mm, damn you, Corona. But um, going over a lot of this stuff and also in my little mapping 
is a uh, Let's see, I did another mapping of something else. And it was all around this area. But once again, we are out west. Once again, we are on Native American land. And they say there's this dark entity at this place that they're getting and they get harassed or whatnot, of course. Everybody that knows that I know I... When I say that you don't want Native American spirits, you know, being bothered, especially when you're on their sacred land. But um, also along around my mapping is uh, San Bernardino, San Bernardino, yeah, I can't say it. But um, that also is around here. My man, Cooper High. And he's in a huge hot spot, I tell you, man. I mean, I did go over and, you know, review his video he sent me. And yeah, that damn thing, man, that, that ship that he has moving along the highway is hauling ass. But it does not surprise me because everything I've been doing lately in this area, as you can... Clearly see. No. Oh, there's a restaurant there. I hate when that pin does that. Um. Come on. No, I don't want that. Jerk mo. Now, like I say, everything I've been doing out in this area. I'm trying to get my pencil up. Pew. As you can see, it's a huge, huge hot spot. Paranormal activity, whether it be, you know, ghosts, UFOs, and Bigfoot. Also, skinwalkers. That's right. And, you know, not being surprising that this is Navajo area nation. As you can see right there, Navajo nation. It's only, it's only just, um, the hell. Just everything I've been talking about, you know. Everything I've been talking about going along this whole area. This place, obviously, is definitely, you know, Native American land that got taken. Things unexplained that Native Americans used to see or do out there, whatever case may be. Doesn't matter. It's all sacred land. And, you know, for these people like Ghost Adventures to go out there and be lucky bastards... You know, I like to go out there, and I'll, you know, they're over here telling these people, we don't know if it's Native American or what spirit or whatever it is. I know damn well what it is. They got to stick, they, they do need to start doing a little bit more of their history because any time you're in a Native American place and the words Native American comes out, that's it. Two words explain everything. You're on sacred land. And when they get their entities and their machines going and the things telling them to get out, well, it's not unusual. Back in them days, back way when they summons these evil entities to take care of the white man, what better way? You can't kill a ghost. You can't kill a spirit. You can't kill the dark side either. So, what better way? And for people to get haunted like this, and you know, me, and in my experience, I've been learning to write, respect the spirits. Hell, like I'll even bust out a friggin' Native American Indian chant dance. I'll sit down Indian style, I will throw up my right hand and 
hail all Indians and, you know, whatever they did back in the day to make peace, to make themselves known, you know, that they're not savages like people think. God damn it, if it wasn't for the damn natives in New England, white man would never survive. You just remember that. So, you just remember that. All the way over here in great New England, where the winters were cold, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, all the eastern natives, you know, keeping them people alive in crucial winters. And only because they got their land taken from them and lost the war because, of course, they took the food from them that they could not find or have because they rounded it up themselves so they would starve to death or try to starve them to death. That's the whole story between, you know, for the whole um, history of the Native American wars. Greed and money, no different than today, that's right. It's all the white man's up there for. Greed, more money. Them giving out special monies to people now in this virus, epidemic BS, you know, pull your hair out of your head day, (laughs) is surprising. But then you got someone like Donald Trump. Now, I hope he's not thinking on doing this. Or if he just said it stupidly, take away the Native American land again if that's what I heard is correct from my man Boris so help me if he goes and tries and does that how about we ye nal lushi them and him ye nal lushi <laughs> that's right summons to keep you off from us getting land taken, you white man. But I just wanted to share that because I am watching this. and well, I missed half of it now, but I don't care because the history they keep saying, we don't know if it's this or we don't know. We don't. I know what it is, and I'm telling you right now. This is a huge area of Native Americans. Navajo Nation. Skinwalkers were made to keep enemies off sacred land. That's what these people are going through. But I like to share this. And just like I say, everything that's revolved around this, though, and how close it is to my other investigations that I do, like Jim Sullivan disappearing, as Jerome and Another um, name in his album that's around in this area, too. It just really blows my mind of what that man really saw. But anyways, it's all in all anyways. When I hear stuff like this and when I hear people like Ghost Adventures not knowing what the hell's wrong and the problem is and the spirits of this place is attacking people and giving negative energy. And they keep saying, we don't know what it is, but they keep talking about Native Americans. I get, I got to jump right in. I got to get this place looked at. And I got to make sure everybody knows what it really is. Sacred land. It shouldn't be near or touched or should just be, in better ways today, respected. Everybody should learn how to respect them spirits and set peace with, towards them so, hey, hauntings won't happen. That's what I think. Exactly what I think. If you can learn to respect that land and not do things to make them peed off, you should be fine. But until that next video, be safe, take care, and always beware where you're walking. And always believe. Because when you're dealing with... Um, where are you? When you are dealing with... Bear with me.
Hang on a sec. I will be right back. As I was saying, when you're dealing with this, right there, Navajo Nation, you're dealing with the spirits of the past. That's right. You will deal with the skinwalker. Especially when you're not supposed to be somewhere or not making peace with that place. So until that next video, remember, if you're out west, always try to keep yourself from disrespecting the spirits of Navajo Nation and the Utes out.